What's up guys, this is Acidic Roots, it's time for part 6 of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2. So, what's gonna happen here is I don't actually beat World 6 in this episode, and, uh, I don't actually beat World 6 in this episode, I'm gonna break it up into two parts, so part 6 and 7 will be World, world 6. Part 7, or 8 and 9 will be World 7, and that should take care of it. So, I actually, I had to wind up using the Game Genie. I could not beat Port, and I realized that I took hits. My next LP that comes after this, I'm going to do a burping video as a reward for dealing with the fact that I use cheats, but, it, it, you know, summer's going to be plenty fun. I've got, you know, several games on the way that I want to do. And so we're just gonna have a blast with that. As far as my vlog channel, which is the channel this is on, I'm getting ready to be in my third year of doing this. I've been actually making vlogs since the summer of 2015, and now that it's the summer of 2017, it's, it, just, it feels good to reflect. Because, you know, back in the first year of me doing this, I didn't really. I, if you would have said to do some video games, I don't know how I would have done it. I mean, I definitely talked about them, but I didn't have any clue how to... I mean, I, I was trying... I had a video game channel, and I was trying to do, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 and that sort of thing on that, but it just kind of fell through. The roof kind of caved in, and I lost patience with it, so... You know, a year later, just some of the history, there's, I have tons of Mario videos on my channel, so on this channel that you're seeing this on, if you just type in Acidic Roots Mario, you'll probably find several different things that I've had to do with the Mario series. It's definitely been one of the video games that I've talked about the most, Super Mario Brothers, the whole series of Mario and that sort of thing. But I also understood that I had to branch farther, so I've been really... I don't want to become a full-blown Let's Play channel where I'm going to wind up doing, you know, 30-part or 50-part videos. Because this channel is primarily a vlog channel. This is just a supplement, a side... It's kind of like a side hustle or, or however you want to say it, peripheral type stuff. And... So really, that's why I pick short games, and it's it's one of the main reasons why I haven't opted to go to the PlayStation or Nintendo 64 or Dreamcast or any of those things. You know, if I can find some short games, maybe like Mischief Makers or something like that, I'll, I'd probably do it. But I, I just want to do the short ones, and. So this is gonna, you know, nine videos is about really how long I want some of the Let's Plays to be, but really I didn't have a choice just because I can't predict how long it's gonna actually take for me to complete the stuff, so, you know, factoring in fail, death, and mistakes, you know, it, it did wind up taking me 35 minutes, but I did beat this, you know, that's the thing, I did manage to beat World 6 without cheat, so... 20 out of, or 19 out of 20 stages I could complete, so, it's the same thing with the lost levels. So, but, I mean, that, that, that's kind of the strange issue that I've been having is whether or not I can find some extra stuff for the year because the assets awards are getting ready to happen and I do recommend that you watch them. I've actually completed them but that's kind of like my custom award show. You know if you've seen like the ESPN awards or the, the Emmys, the Grammys, these sorts of things. Well I did my own custom version of it and it's called the Acids. It's going to be coming out in September and it's just a bunch of you know it's going to be pretty, it's going to be lunacy, so, just depending upon what winds up happening, but, so I haven't really been able to pay attention to the news that much, I, uh, things have just been dicey with what's been going on, so, as far as 
like a personal update. I've just been kind of moseying back and forth trying to... I don't know, I mean, I've been drinking Monster, but the whole thing is, is I, I kind of almost think that... I mean, you know, it, it's said that those are unhealthy, but then the problem with it is, is that... You know, I'm, I'm still in my 20s, so this is strange that I'm supposed to be thinking that something would happen to me from drinking those. I know it's a lot of caffeine and taurine and all that, but there, there should really be no reason why I should be having issues at this point in time. So, it's not really that I did, but I, don't know, I just felt out of breath. So, I think partially it was because my nose was stuffed up. That was a whole other reason. Something about me is I don't really blow my nose, so... Sometimes I wake up, I do do snot rockets, you can see that on my channel. So, I've done, I tried, I used to be able to do snot rockets when I was younger, I know that's immature, but that's the point. And here you can get a mushroom as long as you throw the potion and don't throw it off the cliff. But, but the, the unfortunate thing is, is you do have to take a ride back, so you're gonna be seeing some fail here. And... Those little winged enemies are kind of a pain in the bucket, you know, they'll definitely fuck you over. But Yeah, I do think I get a game over in this, so just be watched out for that. I don't want folks thinking, oh, monsters, they suck, no. You know, just the fact of the matter is, I'm going to be 28 anyway, so you got to kind of question how long you're supposed to be drinking energy drinks. So, you know, people probably phase out of it by the time they're 30 or 32 or something and go to coffee by that point. You know, coffee is a more suitable answer to, you know, a wake-up call. But... but luckily, I don't have to go on the trip back, so... This stage is actually pretty short, so that's the main thing there, is the stage is pretty short in terms of, you know, what you have to do. You just have to watch out for a few cheap enemy placements, and you should be good to go. If you have Princess, that makes the stage that much easier, but, you know, obviously with someone like Toad, who doesn't jump high at all, you basically, you know, every jump counts, so you have to remember that something like that can happen. So I don't know if Luigi would be that beneficial, you know, when you beat the game, it keeps track of how many times you used each character, and the thing was, I guess I could spoil it, I used Mario six times, Toad six times, Princess 18 times, and Luigi one time, so as far as it counting how many times I used each character, out of 20 stages, that means I died 10 times, or at least it recorded me dying 10 times. Obviously, I died more than that. I don't know, it's strange, you know. 18 plus 12 is 30, so 31 is what it wound up checking. But, that was, that was my statistics. Yep, we got it taken care of. We're gonna fight the boss and, and get to the next part. So be prepared for the three-headed dragon that's going to come out later. I think that will actually show up in part seven, but it, it, the, the, the placement this time is a little bit more it's trickier, and I don't really remember hitting that enemy three times. That was kind of strange. <laughs> Alright, let's go enter Billy, and... fuck of a game. You know, that's the whole thing. If you want to cheat, you can just go underneath the sand there as long as you don't drown in the sand. You, you mean you fall to the bottom, but you can't skip this entire stage. And I was tempted to do it, but I figured I might as well beat the stage rightfully. And... So, these 
bomb enemies are ass clowns. They blow up easily, they blow up quickly, and they hurt you when you're near them, so you cannot touch them. Except uh, when, when you pick them up. These guys will respawn, so if you kill them, they'll come back. And it's best just to take this route. Now, if you're willing to blow up all these rocks and everything, you can actually get a mushroom, but I'm pretty certain that it, it makes you go out of your way to get it. So, it's, you know, if you feel like doing that, you can, but you should be able to beat the boss at this point with two hearts. So, I do actually attempt to do it. I said I, don't know, I was gonna be experimental, but... Think. I don't know if I did that in this video or the next one, but I wound up almost dying in the process. So. I know that little buzzing sound is annoying, but... You know, it didn't really do that a video ago in part 5, but it seems to be doing it somewhat now. I don't know if it's just staticky because of the dazzle or what the hell it is, but... You know, future LPs I will try to do it, but part 7 will probably be like this too. So. Kind of, well, I was wanting to watch MSN. You know, that was kind of a big thing. I was wanting to watch that today. Things, uh, you know, this, the the standard craziness of politics has been so much. Like so many people do not have a clean opinion of Trump, and it's you know we're getting to the point where it really it's him versus the world, or it seems as if like you know just at each other's throats. We need something that's going to give us salvation, and I'm not trying to be religious, but some sort of salvation that will get this country in a good going, but I don't know. I mean, when I look at that, I don't... The problem with it for me is I don't know what most people are expecting. You know, that's the whole situation is... You know, am I defending Trump? Uh, I don't think so, but... I mean, because folks complained about Obama, too, so that was the big thing. Is it just, you know, I think it's just complaining for the sake of complaining. It's just new to me, so of course I have these opinions, like, well, which one is it? You know, having double standards, that's not... That's not becoming, so... But so I got these Skippy peanut butter bites, and these are pretty fucking good. So if you've ever heard of Skippy peanut butter, it comes in the sky blue case, and they mainly do peanut butter, but somehow they came up with an extra little. Uh, I forget. I don't know if it's. Pro product, that's the word I'm looking for. They came up with an extra product, and, uh, uh, so, I think that there might be actually different brands of it, but I did manage to get the original, and I thought that they were just going to be peanut butter bites, but I, I swear that there's chocolate in them as well. So... Those are good. You know, definitely go out and get them. I don't know if they're at every grocery store, but they should just be near the peanut butter. So I'm probably going to get them again, supposing I don't forget. I'm, I'm debating on making a vlog specifically about them, because they do. They are vlog-worthy. You know, it's a new food. Almost would seem like doing a review on it would be a good idea, but it just depends. I'm either going to talk about it or I'm going to do a review on it, and I might do both. With all the stuff that I have been talking about, I me mean, talking about Red Bull and Slim Jim and Mountain Dew, Dew SA, Coke, you know, I've got, I think it's time to find some new things. And another thing that pissed me off, if you remember one of my vlogs from November, 
I had one talking about Italian soda, and now the store that has that doesn't have the Italian soda anymore, so that's gone. I was disappointed, because I actually, that was one of the few things I used to look forward to getting at that grocery store. And the name of the store is Hy-Vee, you know, you can call it Hy-Vee, whatever you call it, but in America we have that store, and it was just kind of disappointed that they discontinued it. I mean, I do, I enjoy Italian soda, I mean, that's... That's the thing there, is... Italian soda winds up being a pretty choice item. The thing that's starting to piss me off is just the fact that that snake keeps jumping up and keeps intercepting me trying to jump over it, which I think is meant to do that specifically to piss you off. So, you know, that's the whole thing is... But, so we've got a minute left, and you will see the completion of this. So obviously, you know, against all odds, the whole thing is, it's, it just takes patience. Makes me wonder how many people actually beat this back in 1988, you know, 89, anything before 1993, really. But... I don't know, I mean, when I when I used to think of like the guidebooks and that sort of stuff, they didn't really give tips, they just told you what to do. I mean, I know that sounds strange, they just said, you know, go here, and they didn't really say watch out for this enemy or that sort of stuff. It's strange, because it just makes it feel as if, you know, they weren't actually expecting you to get this far. 